I'll take you now through a comprehensive demo of all the stuff that we've talked about, all the different commands and expats that we've talked about so far in, um, in transforming, as well as the actual process of making a transform or actually linking the transform to an, uh, an, uh, an XML instance file and getting some output and showing that output in the browser. So we're going to use the same sample file that we've been working with, um, and I'm going to use this XSL that, um, uh, that demonstrates all the different pieces that we want to have. So we're going to start by linking this XSL, and I've just, for convenience, I've named them with the same name, and I've just, they just have different extensions. You can see this is sample info type and access structure XML, sample info type and access structure XSL, and sample info type and access structure XSD, and then we're heading for this one over here, which is sample info type and access structure HTM. So I want to create a page, an HTML page, that has um, all the, that has all sorts of different things from this instance in it, that's created by this XSL file. All right, well, let's start by linking the XML, the instance file, with the transform. And I do that on this, with this little wrench one here. So it's not, there's two wrench, there's two little wrench um, icons. It's not this one that we use in this case. It's this one over here. I click that, and let me get rid of the one that I've created previously. And I want to create a new transformation scenario. That's what they call them. And so I click New here. And I won't go into all the different possibilities of what you can do in this dialog box. There's a lot of them. Let me just point you to the ones that I want you to take care of. You start from the instance. You click the wrench button. Then you choose the, um, you choose the transform. Here it is, XSL, um, with this little icon right here. And that made the linkage between the instance and the transform. The other thing I want to do in the output, I want to say prompt for a file. Open that file in the browser and also open it in the editor so that we can see it in the editor as well. Okay, so that's what I just did. Now, having done that, I can click this little transform button. Clicking the transform button will apply, it just already did actually, apply the transform to the instance. Now it's prompting me for what file I'd like to save that in, and it's this one here, htm, and I will replace that file. Now it's going to open that file inside the browser, and there it is. So here's my output. This is the output that was created by combining the values in the XML file um, with the HTML that's in the transform using the, the XSL commands that are in the transform. So let me say that again because I stumbled a little bit on it. We have the values in the XML file. In the transform file, we have HTML, which is producing the page here. We have um, commands that are pulling the values out of the XML instance file. Okay, and we're going to go through that a piece at a time. What I've demonstrated so far is how to link the instance with the transform and actually see some output in a browser window. Okay, over here we also see the output in tag view. So here's the HTML page. It's just a straight ahead HTML page um, and uh, and we can look at it in tag view if we want to. Okay, so back over here to the XSL, and I'll start talking about the various commands. Um, uh, to review, we have a style sheet, and the style sheet is the root element of the transform file. Under style sheet, um, don't worry about this output command. We'll talk about those a little bit later. Um, we have one major child, and that's the template child. And under the template child, I mostly have a lot of HTML. There's my HTML tag to establish the page. There's my head tag and there's my body tag. Right? Can you see on this, in this template? What it produces is an HTML page and you can see that by closing it all down. Inside the head, all I really have is HTML. Right? I don't even have any XSL in there. Now in the body, I have a, a lot of different things that we're going to demonstrate. The first of which is the value of command. So the value of command that I have here, 